What's in my music producer bag in 2021? Well, let's find out. Trap Tendo. What is going on, people? It's DJ App here, and there's a few times where people ask me, you know, how do you travel to studios or whatnot, and what would be the most comfortable setup for you? And that. so I wanted to do a video on that. I, I just got this a New York Solo bag. I got it off of Amazon for about $50. Sometimes I see it for about $40, so I will have the link in the description box so you can check it out. And I'm gonna weigh it with my hot takes, and we're gonna take it to the living room. So let's begin. So what is inside my music producer bag? Well, let's find out. So this bag, let's start off by talking about it. It's the Solo New York. I have a link in the description box. I bought it off of Amazon. It is an affiliate link, so it does help support this channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up so you can see all the things that are inside of here. And I really like the bag. I'll talk about the quality of it a little later and some of the pros and cons. So first thing, drum machine. Boom. <laughs> drum sampler, oh, it's not the MPC. But yeah, I, I do put an MPC in there and I'll show you a little later. I have my iPad, so this is my iPad Pro. And then we have the MacBook Air. This is the M1 version, by the way, so it is pretty good. I have a whole entire review on that. So what else do I have in my bag? Well, I have wires and stuff. We have this Bauer memory holder it holds memory cards all my memory cards in there I even have my MPC 2500 this compact flash and it holds SD cards so yeah wait there's more we have an iPhone or iPad stand it's pretty cool very cheap too as well very nice I just put it right here I even, I even can fit a camera rig, which is a Bauer camera rig. This is pretty decent. Not the best, but still. We have wires for a hard drive. I have a Samsung T7 hard drive. This is a 500 gigabytes. So I'll roll with these Samsung joints. So SSD, gotta go that way, of course. Business cards. and wires another adapter and this is for my ipad if i want to use it as a camera it is the hdmi adapter so you know you have to dungle it out with apple a platinum charger this is 95 watts you can also charge usb type a devices or type c devices very good for the macbook air or the macbook pro or even the iPad. Get more wires. Last but not least, I have the hyperdrive, which is a dongle that you use for your MacBook Air or MacBook Pros. It allows pass through of power, so you can charge this while you're using these ports. Uh, it hooks up to your Thunderbolt 3, the two Thunderbolt 3s, of course. So if you have the MacBook 13 inch or the MacBook Air, this is perfect. And then you have type A's, SD card slot, mini SD card slot. Yeah, really nice. And it's a nice little case too. That I'm struggling to put it back in. And that my friends is my user producer bag of 2021. So the inside of the bag is actually pretty decent. If you get a couple of pockets in there where you can put hard drives and stuff like that. That's where I put my hard drives right here. And I got an extra wire. You can put pencils and stuff like that if you I don't know if the Apple Pencil can fit there. Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. All right, so I'm gonna try and put my Apple Pencil inside of here. Let's see if that'll be a good place to locate it. I'm putting my Apple Pencil in there. Yeah, it's reasonable. I don't know if I like the tip facing outwards like that or just inwards. I think that'd be a little safer right there if you wanna put your Apple Pencil in there. But yeah, you can put pencils, pins. Then you got space right here. There's no pockets on the inside of this side right here. And you got a seam right here where you can put more stuff. A little zipper, 
regular pocket. On the inside, you clearly got enough space to put a MacBook or just like a 15 inch laptop. It does come with a shoulder strap. So that's one of the cool things about it. And I'll talk more about that a little bit later. And then you can secure it. And if you want to put like headphones or something like that, you can. It's a little difficult for me to put my headphones in there. So I just carry them around my neck or just wear them. I have AirPods too. So <laughs> that's a, that is a dilemma. No pockets or anything on the back, but you have a strap right here where you can carry the handle. And an alternate way of carrying it, just like a backpack. So it can be a backpack too. So it can be three different things all in one. And that's the main thing I like about this bag. So can this hold the MPC Live 2? Well, let's find out right now. And yeah, I have my deck saver on this too. So that makes it a little thicker. So let's bring this over and let's put it inside of there. I had to lay it flat. So I'm stuffing it in there with all this stuff I get on top of it. All right, one side. To live to turn it on. Don't Freddy will turn yourself off. You have to approve of his power. All right, other side. Now let's zip it up. Well, the answer is yes, it can. Though it will be a tight squeeze if you have the deck saver on there. So let's take the deck saver off and do that. The MacBook Air is still in there. You can barely see it. The iPad's in there. Let's see that. Let's see, see that. And all the other stuff is in there. So let's try this process again. A little easier this time and the answer is yes it can fully suited and booted so to give you guys an idea of how it looks like on your back it's a backpack you can go right here you know i'm pretty short i am six foot six but yeah i'll give you a glance of it right here uh, one thing i do recommend though if you are going to carry this much stuff uh, your back better be ready for it because I'm gonna tell you right now, it can get a little heavy. I don't know the exact weight of everything that I have, but I know for a fact, most of the time, I usually just carry it on the side like this and that's good enough. Maybe you might be a shoulder type guy and you just wanna use the sling. Well, that might be your thing too as well. But uh, me personally, I use that as a backpack, but I don't try to overwhelm my back with the weight. And yeah, it just, it looks nice. It looks nice, I'll turn around all the way. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not bad. So tell me how you feel about this video. I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comment section. Yeah, so when it comes down to getting bags that will carry everything, that's why I went a little minimalistic with my setup here. And I wanted to make sure that I get a bag that would work for both my Machine Plus, because I love my Machine Plus, as well yeah i know <laughs> i switched up a little bit didn't i and i love my mpc live too without a shadow of a doubt and for those who have the mpc one i definitely want to stress that the mpc one will fit into the bag the mpc one has a smaller footprint so you don't have to worry about that as well and yeah it's a good way to carry your stuff i think the biggest elephant in the room for this producer bag video is my switching from Windows over to Mac. And I will do a whole video on that. I think uh, that everybody needs to hear what I got to say, and then you can draw your conclusions from there. You know, I don't, I don't speak for everybody, but I definitely want to speak to you guys and just give you my personal opinion through experience. But yeah, I like the Apple ecosystem. I got an iPhone 12 Pro Max, and this video was cut with the iPhone Pro 12 Pro Max. Ooh. It was cut with the iPhone 12 Pro Max and being able to use my iPad as a secondary screen, that's a really good thing, especially if you're going to a studio where 
they might not have the things that you want but overall i do like this bag the link again is in the description box do i do i do i give this give this give the stamp of, of, of approval 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 well <laughs> as expensive as bags can be especially for music producers yeah oh yeah